bring down cholesterol level with these simple methods. If you have high cholesterol, you're also at higher risk for heart disease. But the good news is, it's a risk you can control. You can lower your bad LDL cholesterol and raise your good HDL cholesterol. You just have to make some simple changes. As you adopt lifestyle changes, everything starts shifting, and the improvements you see at 6 weeks often increase by 3 months. You still may need to take medicine to get your cholesterol back on track. But if you make just a few, small changes, you might be able to lower your dose and chance of side effects. Ban trans fats. But it's hard to avoid them. They're found in fried foods, baked goods, cakes, pie crusts, frozen pizza, and cookies, and stick margarines. That's why the FDA is taking steps to remove them from the food supply. How can you avoid them in the meantime? When you go shopping, read the labels. But be careful if you see partially hydrogenated oil on the package. That's just a fancy name for trans fat. Scale back. You don't have to lose a lot of weight to lower your cholesterol. If you're overweight, drop just 10 pounds and you'll cut your LDL by up to 8%. But to really keep off the pounds, you'll have to do it over time. A reasonable and safe goal is 1 to 2 pounds a week. Eating plans that allow 1,000 to 1,200 calories a day will help most women lose weight safely. If you haven't been active, start slowly, even 10-minute blocks of activity count. Choose an exercise you enjoy. And buddy up, an exercise partner can help keep you on track. Fill up on fiber. Foods like oatmeal, apples, prunes, and beans are high in soluble fiber, which keeps your body from absorbing cholesterol. Research shows that people who ate 5 to 10 more grams of it each day saw a drop in their LDL. Eating more fiber also makes you feel full so you won't crave snacks as much. But beware, too much fiber at one time can cause abdominal cramps or bloating. Increase your intake slowly. Go fish. The catch, some types, like shark, swordfish, and king mackerel, are high in mercury. That can increase your risk for heart disease. Instead, choose wild salmon, sardines, and bluefin tuna. Opt for olive oil. The good fats in olive oil benefit your heart. Choose extra virgin olive oil. It's less processed and contains more antioxidants, which help prevent disease plans with 1,200 to 1,600 calories a day are good for most men who want to lose weight. Go nuts. Just don't go overboard, nuts are high in calories, an ounce of almonds packs 164. Chill out. Did you know that when you're stressed, your cholesterol can go through the roof, relax. Get lost in a good book, meet a friend for coffee, or take to your yoga mat. It'll help keep your cholesterol in check. Spice it up. If you don't already dust your cappuccino with cinnamon or shake pepper on your pasta. Listen up, spices like garlic, curcumin, ginger, black pepper, coriander, and cinnamon do more than flavor your food, they can also improve cholesterol. Research shows that eating a half to one clove of garlic each day could lower cholesterol up to 9%. But out. In one study, people who stopped smoking saw their good cholesterol rise 5% in one year. But if you're regularly around smokers, take heed, breathing secondhand smoke every day can also raise levels of bad cholesterol.